Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I'm going to do my base products favorites because I am doing a video with only eyeshadow palettes because I didn't want to make such super long video so I wanted to do two of these favorites or maybe three, I think it's it's two yearly favorites because I am not doing skincare. If you don't want me to do it, I'm not going to do it. So, today we're doing my base favorites for 2018. And I'm going to do the same thing I did last year. So I am going to use the products in this video. So it's not like me showing the product like, this is my favorite foundation, this is my favorite concealer, this is my favorite setting spray. And all that yes so I am going to use the products in this video and yes and I am also going to include my favorite mascara and my favorite lipstick in this video and then it's coming one with eyeshadow palettes and yeah I'm mostly looking forward to that video but I want to do them both so I'm going to start with the primer and I really love this primer spray from Kix I have bought one from Smashbox because I love to spray on my primer and this has been the only primer that I have used since I bought it and I love this so much. So this is just a spray and you just spray it on but don't open your mouth because it tastes awful. So I'm going to shut up and spray it. While this sinks in a little bit. I can show you um, the sponge. I have talked a little bit about sponges this year, but my absolute favorite sponge this year has been the Linda Holberg the sponge. Um, it looks like this. This was my favorite also last year and this is the sponge that I only want to use. I love the Real Technique one, but I think I like this more. I like the shape more. I don't like the color more because when they are black they look so freaking dirty but this is my favorite sponge so I'm going to use that. And when I was picking out my favorite foundation of the year it was a little bit hard because I have used free foundation this year that I really 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 love but um, it came down to the Ordinaries Serum Foundation and that's because this one suits my skin. My pale skin and also this works I think all year round I haven't had it in the warmest of summer but it works so so good in the winter because I'm dry in my face maybe also as a person I'm dry in my face and this one I don't need to set with the powder and now in winter that suits me so freaking good because my face is like crusty so the it came down to this one. The runner-up was Lumines Nordic Natural Glow. I love that too, but I have to mix it, I have to set it, if I want it to hold, but this I don't need to set, so I chose this one. And I have in the color 1.0 NS, very fair neutral with silver highlights. I love this one. So I'm going to shake it and apply it with my sponge. And this one works so good with the primer. I have tested it with another primer and it did not work out at all. The only thing I don't like about this, it's so freaking rainy. And I usually do like this first and then I buff it out when I have covered all my face. And this is a foundation that I Sometimes I feel like I don't like it, but then when I'm finished with it, I really like it. But it needs a little bit of time to set into the skin. So if you have tried it and you didn't like it, that could <laughs> be it. Okay, <laughs> I was not planning to do any eyeshadows today, so I'm going to put my foundation on my eyelids. And I don't usually do that, and I don't usually like it, but what the fudge? It covers what's need to be covered, but it's not full coverage. And as you know, I hate full coverage foundations because I have a pretty good skin. 
I have good skin, so I don't need to cover that much, and I don't like to be flat in my face. If anybody wants to be flat in their face. Okay, so now we're going to look a little bit crazy for a while before I fix my eyebrows. <laughs> but then we're going over to concealer. And this is Makeup Revolution's Conceal and Define. I have the color C1. I think this is the lightest one and this is almost empty and I love this concealer. This is the cheapest... Or is the Colourpop cheaper? I don't know. Maybe they are the same, but this is one of the cheapest foundations. No, this is not foundation. This is a concealer. One of the cheapest concealer I have ever tried and one of the best. I will buy this again. Um, because it is so good. Now, so I put a little bit underneath my eyes. Got something in my eye, and then I take the sponge and work this out. Just do it like that, and I want to set my concealer because it's not looking good if I don't. So I use this. I usually don't set my concealer with, but I do it sometimes. And this is the Infinity Filter by Linda Holberg, and I have it in light. I hope and wish that they will come with a translucent one. Mm, this is has a little bit of color and it's it's affecting my concealer a little bit but it will be fine. And I will set this with my favorite powder puff of all times. And this is the powder puff by Linda Holberg. I think it's just called the powder puff. And I hate to say Linda Holberg in English because her name is Linda Halberg. Because she is Swedish and I am. So I'm not baking as much as I did before. I just set the concealer because if I don't, it will not look good for me. Now I am trying to take as little as I can because I don't want too much of a contrast between my face that is not set and my under eyes that are. Now I am going to do my eyebrows and I usually don't talk about Cat on D on my channel anymore. I don't know where I stand. I haven't... I have bought one lipstick, one liquid lipstick after this whole vaccinating thing. Else, or maybe also this product, but this is a product I like, but I will not buy it again, but I like this one. And we are going to the eyebrows. Did I even say it? And this is the Brow Struck Dimension Powder in Blonde from Kat Von D. And as you can see, I have used it quite a lot. And I really like this powder. I usually don't like powders that much for my eyebrows because as you see I don't my eyebrows you can't barely see them so I need something that really stick to my eyebrows the whole day throughout work throughout sweat throughout rain and everything and usually brows powder the brow powder brow powders don't do that but this one do with a little help of my other favorite so I really like this one and it pains me a little bit. And what I really like about this, it's it has some shimmer in it, you can see it. And it makes the brow don't look so painted on. It's called the dimension powder. And the dimension thing is that it has a little bit of glitter. And I think it really helps. Not glitter, like a little bit of shimmer. So it look a little bit more natural. And I'm going to be so concentrated right now, so I almost forgot to brush my brows. But I wanted to include this one in my yearly favorites because it has been a favorite for me, but I... You can do whatever if you want to support Kat Von D or not. I haven't made up my mind. I hate 
the drama, so... I think this is a good powder. And I have really liked it. But I'm not going to buy it again. But if you are supporting Kat Von D and you want a good brow powder, I can recommend this. Like my biggest nightmare is that I'm going to work and I'm in a rush. And I paint one eyebrow and then I do something else, maybe the phone rings or anything and I go out like this. I go to work like this, people is going to think that I am crazy. And the one thing I really like about this is that it's really stick to skin. Now I have foundation, so stick to that too, but I use this every damn day. And now they are not even. I don't know why it. I usually think about this. I paint my eyebrows like 355 days. Okay, maybe 340 days per year. But I, I can't make them even. This is as good as it gets. And then we're going to continue there with my super favorite for the brows. I really, really love this product. This is my third tube, I think, and I'm going to buy a new one. And this is from Eden. It's their perfect eyebrow fiber infused volumizing brow, tinted brow gel. And this is in light. And this has fibers in it and a little bit of color. And this helped my brows to stay in color and in shape the whole day. I don't know how this... I have pretty full brows. It's just that they are blonde. But I have pretty full brows. I don't know how they work for somebody that hasn't got full brows, but I I guess look and this is almost empty so I need to buy one new. So the eyebrows are eyebrows are on and now we are going to do something to my face. And I will start with a light contour. As you know I don't do much of contour because I don't like it. And I have really loved this one this year. This is from Nabla, it's Gotham in the shade and glow. And I bought this pretty late this year. Maybe it was this in August or September. But this one is so good. And I am going to use my new favorite contour brush for this. This is from Real Techniques. It's their faux blue. I think it's the blue and black one. This is like the most, the prettiest brush I have. I love this. I love the shape, I love the color. And this is BO2. And it's pointed and fedger. And I love to use this on my contour. And I go light at the contour. And what I love about this Gotham, it's so, it's not so pigmented. So for me that are this pale, it doesn't ruin my face if I take too much and I have to build it up and I love that. And they have on their website, it say which color is good for which skin tone and also which undertone I think so it's very easy to pick the right one. Okay so then we're going into blush and I f think you know which blush I'm going to say. It's Kendra also from Nabla and yeah Kendra. I love this blush. This is one of the best blushes I have ever used. I love the color, I love how it looks on my skin, I love to work with it, I love everything. And for that I'm going to use my favorite 
blush brush of this year. I have had another one for many many years but I have gone over to this. And this is from Real Techniques. There, I can never remember what this line is called. I don't know if it's Diamond Crush or just Diamond. And this is 302. And this brush is so good. If you have a pigmented blush, you have to be a little bit careful because this picks up a lot. And the blush from Nabla, it's, it's the same for as for the Gotham shade. You have to build it up. And I love blushes that you have to build up because you can love a blush but maybe not want it to be so much all the time and then Nabla's blushes are perfect. I don't even know if you can see this on camera but just trust me it's a really good blush. And then for the highlighter I have such a hard time for this one. The easiest for me was to pick up my favorite highlighter brush and this is from Linda Halberg and it's the 306. If you want to try some brushes from Linda, this one is one of my best blush brushes, little brushes ever. And I had such a hard time to pick just one highlight favorite because I have three highlighters that I have been loving so so much this year. So I couldn't decide. I narrowed it down to two. I couldn't... I just couldn't go with only one. Uh, one is the favorite I had for last year and it's the Nabla Baby Glow. This has been my favorite blush for a long long time. I really 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 love this. But the other one is the Wet n Wild Moon Tears from the Gotographic collection and this is a loose highlighter. So I was like I thought it was okay with two highlighters because this is a loose one and this is that other one is not a loose one. So okay, I, I'm going with much highlight so I take this Moon Tears. The Baby Glow is such a good highlighter if you just want a little bit of highlighter. This is a little more shut up punch in the face highlighter than the Baby Glow. I love the Baby Glow for everyday wear but also for like you can build it up so it looks so good but for everyday wear the Nabla is perfect for more BAM this is perfect but I'm going to use this BAM okay I had too much this Moon Tears is like one I'm so sad that this is limited edition, but I bought two yards, so I have. <laughs> it this contains eight grams. So I have highlighters for the rest of my life. Do you see this one? I usually don't like this wet look, but this highlighter is amazing. And I think we can take this baby glow a little on my nose. Just put it in this favorites. We have them both. And also a little bit of mission. So there we have the two highlighters on my face. I don't know how much the baby glow is showing, but yes. And now we have only two things left. Three things left. Okay. <laughs> I will try to speed this up. For setting spray. I love setting sprays because I am dry as I said and I need something to moisture back to my face and the favorite setting spray I've had this year is one that I didn't think first I didn't like it at all but like I think it was this summer I started to use it again and I love this and this is the dewy finish from NYX I hate the smell of it I love how it looks and I think I have to buy the new one soon uh, it's a good spritzer on it, the smell is not good, but it works so good. It's just a super nice setting spray and it's very very cheap. I have the Urban Decay setting spray all lighter. 
that's not for me, this is for me. And what I love about this, it's the spritzer is so good and also it melts everything together and it's giving moist, moi moisture back to my skin. That is such a hard word. So I, I love this. I don't know if it makes my foundation to hold any longer or anything like that, but I really, really love this. This is, I will buy this again. Even though I hated it first, now I love it, as you understand, because it's in my yearly favorites. And I think it blends everything together so freaking good. Sometimes when I put on my highlighter, I'm like, this is a disaster. And then I spray it with this one. And it came out so good as you maybe can see. And I am also going to take... Oh, the foundation has layered on my lids. I should have said this. Okay, <laughs> so my mascara favorite for this year. I have tried a lot of mascaras. I have tried some that I really love, some uh, that I hated, some that made my eyes irritated, but this one I've used this the last couple of months this year and I want to buy this again. This is the best mascara I have ever tried this far. And it's the big, bold, super volumizing from Isadora. This is such an amazing mascara. I really, really love it. I want long lashes and I want full lashes. And this gives me all. Usually you have two shoes, but this gives me both. But... I don't like it when it's brand new. I want it to dry up a little bit and then I like it. The only thing I don't love is the brush because it's super big. But I have, I have to have it with me. Okay. I can only like do my mascara if I see myself from underneath or else I will certainly pick my eye. Always when I put on mascara in videos, I I mess up. I don't know why. Um, I think you can see the difference. I really love this mascara. It's so good and it's giving me all I want. So now I'm going to put it on my other eye because I can't look um, like this. And the last thing for this video is lips lip products because I wanted to include it in this one instead of the eye favorites maybe that says itself so I have four here and I couldn't decide for only one so I have one lip liquid lipsticks two bullet lipsticks and one lipstick so we can start with the liquid lipstick and this has become my favorite this this November and December and I just love this color and it's Nabla's Hanging Rock. And a lot of you guys also seem to love it. I had it in my Free Looks One palette with Nabla in my second look. And I also had it in my Get Red With Me new schedule and trying new products. I can leave them up in the card. This is such a unique super gorgeous dark red color and I love Anabla's formula I really really love this one this was in the pulp kit but I really hope that they sell this individual because this is like the best dark red I have ever tried and for the lipsticks it of course from Colourpop and this is Love Life and this is a red one. I have used this in a couple of videos and I love this one so so much and I love the lipsticks as well. And then I took my two bullet lipsticks. I have one shiny one and one matte. The matte one is Kiss from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is like my perfect everyday lipstick. I love this one and I love this mean one. This is so nice. I I'm sure that I had it some in some videos because I really love this. But one that I'm going to use today is my favorite 
gloss lip and this is from Linda Halberg and it's the fantastic in pink opal and I love this one this moisturize my lips it's it's so nice and it's got SPF 15 I think which I need and it doesn't feel like lipstick But it is one and I love it and now I have such dry lips. So this is my favorite cream lipstick of this year. So that was all of my base products of 2018. I really hope you liked this video and I really hope it got so long I think. But I really hope you liked that I sh divided them in two because I know that not everybody loves base products and Maybe not everybody only wants to see eye products, so I like to do them separately. And yeah, I really hope you liked this video. I will leave all the products down below and also which colors I have mentioned. And I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you're not subscribing, please do so you don't miss any of my videos. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!